Welcome to our art lesson today. We're going to continue to learn about Paul Klee today and we are going to represent one of his paintings. First, let's have a think about the squiggle images that we did last week. Um, if you don't have yours with you, don't worry, we can look at the picture next to us. But if you do have it, then you'd like to pause when I get to one to go and get your squiggle picture. Three, two, one. Okay, so what techniques did you use that you liked last time? Now, not everyone had pastels at home, so you may have used crayons, pencils, or paints. Um, do you remember we spoke about blending different colours? Did you put two different colours together? Did you like that as a technique? We tried smudging. Did that work for you? Maybe it didn't work for you. And then also have a think about what colours. What colours do you like together? Maybe looking at this image or the one that you did. What two colours do you like together? Can you tell me? Okay. We'll all have different ideas. So I like the blue and the purple together. Um, but you probably like two different colours. We're going to create an image by Paul Klee today. So this is the image that we are going to recreate. It's called The Cat and Bird. And you can see it is a cat, and you can see the bird on its head. Do you remember we said Paul Klee is an abstract artist? So he hasn't painted the cat or drawn the cat as he sees it in real life. So this is what we will be doing today. Paul Klee used paints, um, but you're going to use whatever you have at home. That could be crayons, pastels, colouring pencils to create this image and have a think about what techniques you could use even if you just have pencils you can think about blending two colors together you can have a go at smudging as well okay what do you think would work well so looking at the image of paul Klee's cat do you think those colors are bright and bold or are they slightly muted and smudged what do you think Okay, I think they're slightly, slightly, they look like they've been smudged, don't they? And they don't look quite so bold. So one thing that we can try when we're going to colour is we could have a go at smudging. And the eyes look really interesting. To me, I can see two different colours there. So today you might also like to have a go when you come to colour it. So I'm just showing you how you might do it. of using two different colours for the iris inside the eye there. Okay, so that's something you might try when you come to colour your image. Right, so we are going to watch a tutorial now to show us how to recreate this image. This is where you will need um, paper and pencils and whatever medium you're using. Could be paints, pencils, pastels, crayons. Okay, so when I get to one, grab everything that you need. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay, welcome back. Um, this video, parts of it might go a little bit quickly, so don't worry, you can obviously pause it if you want a little bit more time. You can even use watercolors if you have them at home and paint brushes. Okay, we are gonna start drawing a big U shape in our paper. It has to be very, very big. That is gonna be the face of our cat. Right in the middle, we're gonna draw the two ears. It's gonna be two curvy lines that meet right in the middle of the paper. Those are our two ears. Let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna make that line a little bit longer and I'm gonna draw kind of like a horizontal oval. See, with those two curvy lines, a mountain and a canoe. Now I have the two eyes of the cat. I'm gonna build the iris again with two ovals. And here we have the eyes of our cat. Now I'm gonna draw a heart for the nose. And once I have it done, I'm gonna match it with the top point where the two eyes met. 
Now I'm gonna do also two curvy lines for the mouth. I'm gonna make him a neck by drawing two curvy lines in each side. And one of the most important parts, the whiskers. I'm drawing three in each side. As you remember, the name of this artwork was the cat and the bird. So we're only missing the bird. I'm drawing the shape of a fish and now a circle and the beak, just a small triangle. A dot for the eye, a U for the wings and two legs. And ta-da, here we have the drawing of our Pauline inspired cat. Now, we only have to color it. Okay, first I'm gonna start by going with a black marker through the lines that I just made. If you don't have a black marker, you can use any other kind of marker. and erase all those pencil marks I made before. Now I have my cat ready for color. Again, you can use the materials you have at home. You can use crayons, markers, color pencils, watercolors, tempera, In my case, I'm using crayons. I'm gonna be coloring each space with different colors. You do not have to paint the whole cat the same color. It would be better to use many colors as Paul Klee did. For example, I'm using green for the eyes and red for the nose, but you can switch those colors up. For example, you can make uh, blue eyes or red eyes, pink eyes. You can choose the colors you want. What I'm making here is just a guideline for you guys to make, but you don't have to make it exactly as I'm doing it, okay? So use your own colors. Uh, we're not, remember that we're not in a hurry. Take your time and enjoy the process and overall have fun. art piece by coloring the bird and the background. We don't want that background to be white, we want it with color. And of course, don't forget to sign up as the truly artist you are. And here we have our cut and bird inspired by Paul Klee. Good job, amazing artist. I will see you very soon. Bye bye. Okay, good job. I hope you enjoyed that. I need to just see if I can, here we go. Okay, now, now um, I didn't have time to finish, but I will go and um, I will finish mine later on. Okay, but remember, um, I hope you had a go at trying different techniques there. Um, and you can have another go at drawing another one of these images you can have another go at trying a your own like a dog or um, <laughs> a hamster whatever you come up with um, just when you have finished think about those techniques that you used again which ones are you really happy with which ones are you not so pleased with and what colors do you like together because you will be doing a dinosaur picture next week 
in school, a Paul Klee dinosaur picture. So thinking about which things you really like today and you can use them next time in your artwork. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and we cannot wait to see you um, next week. Bye everybody.